bones sinking like stones all that we fall for homes places we've grown all of us are done Well, after uh, September 11th attacks at the World Trade Center, uh, there was a, a need for uh, increased homeland security, uh, and certainly the, the ports, har harbors, and waterways are of significant concern. Uh, and uh, as a result, Congress passed the Maritime Safety and, uh, Maritime Transportation Safety Act of 2002. Uh, part of that law required the Coast Guard to develop maritime safety and security teams to provide a, a homeland security presence in the ports of honor uh, As a result, uh, maritime safety and security team Seattle uh, was actually the, the first of 13 MSS teams what that is that was, uh, brought online. Uh, and this unit actually was stood up in July of 2002. Morning! Morning, Morning sir! Part of that law required the Coast Guard to develop maritime safety and security teams to provide a, a homeland security presence in the ports and waterways. Get back! The whole Coast Guard shifted mindsets in a lot of ways, doing things that nobody thought we'd really be doing. And it had always been search and rescue was the primary mission, search and rescue, search and rescue. And then law enforcement was just another one of the things we did. Whereas when 9-11 happened, all of a sudden Homeland Security became such a big issue that that, that changed a lot of people's minds. All right, all right today's the 15th of February 2006. We're at Marsec Level 1, Force Protection Strike on Alpha, Homeland's Elevated Yellow. Uh, sunset will be at 17.33 this evening. Uh, moonrise will be at 2020. Planning. Eight. Three. Can't go. Say eight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, eight. Okay. Crew selection. Three. Anything hard to three? Crew fitness. Six. Part of my job as training officer at the unit is to evaluate people when they come in. They need to be mentally and physically ready for this mission. It's um, a higher mission than a lot of the other units in the Coast Guard. More demanding in a lot of respects. And when they get here, depending what department they're assigned to, they need to be trained in one area or another. And it requires a lot of extra hours during the week and on the weekend to get in and to practice whether it be out on the boats, different maneuvers, or um, tactics, or PT. We have six Defender Alpha class boats, um, 25 foot in length, made by Safe Boats International. They have two Honda 225 horsepower engines on them, uh, full suite of uh, electronics from radar, chart plotter, DGPS, uh, electronic compass, uh, secure and unsecure radio systems on them.
if you you got to look at it from the terrorist point of view, somebody wants to do harm, they're going to be targeting, you know, one of the main reasons things with terrorism is scaring people. So you want to get something that's going to, you know, be highly visible, and you want to, um, you know, the ferry system is a perfect example because a lot of people travel on that. But anything that's going to disrupt the economy, anything that's going to get a lot of press coverage, that's what they're going to go after. Coast Guard Tomobile to the ferry one edge. Good afternoon, Captain. We'll be providing a two-boat escort on your ship today. Any questions, comments, concerns, you can contact us on channel 13160. What had you heard? I think in the, in the port itself, wherever we're at, we deter a lot of people from doing a lot of things. A lot of people will see these boats and just, okay, don't, when do they, we'll go to Portland for Rose Festival, um, and they're trying to explain what we do to different folks and to, to the public, and it, it's been said, look, they've got the machine guns, just yeah. when, they, when they tell you to stop, stop, don't think, oh, it's gonna be a little boat chase, it isn't. We're protecting an asset, we're there to protect it, when they say stop, Stop, yeah. or it, it's not going to be say stop again. He's going to do a sweep of where the ferry is going to tie up, make sure there's no bombs or boats inside it, divers or anything like that. It's going to get caught up with the ferry. So he's going to clear it right now. He's going to call back and say everything's good to go. Yeah. You know, I, the, the presence that, that we provide uh, is an extreme deterrent as well as uh, we uh, are able to tailor force packages in, in, as needed to you know, respond to whatever the threat may be. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like us when, uh, when we first stood up. We looked too military, too militant. No Coast Guard boats had ever run with a yeah. big machine gun on the front of it, you know, and people just weren't used to it, but now riding on the ferries on a daily basis and people are getting more used to us. They know that we're out to help and protect them and they're not as afraid of us as they were when we first came out. Yeah, you just scan the area. Scan all the water along the shoreline, all the piling, scan the boat itself, scan anything in the water itself. A lot of times, just like with any other job, it seems dull and boring and mundane, and, and it kind of is to an extent, but um, we just have to make sure we maintain ourselves to a level where we don't get complacent. And that's not just the Coast Guard, but the United States as a whole. Don't, don't let the fact that we haven't been attacked in four years drop our, make us drop our guard, because we need to keep that guard there.